everybody, welcome back. Yesterday's episode, I had lit up most, uh, I'd say half of Deadwood. And then, in the process, I found this place called Malin's Castle, I think? Or just Malin? I think, I think that's what it was called. So, I'm back with torches, full chain armor, looking pretty cool. And now, I'm going to finish exploring this place. See what dark secrets this place brings. Okay. See a it's kind of chilling there. Oh yeah, and yesterday I found a awesome, awesome sword, which should last a very long time. I think it was called Elvin's Fury. Yeah, that would make sense, since it uh has unbreaking five on it. Jeez. Crazy. Alright, um what I'm gonna do is light up this area above the entryway. Get rid of this skeleton. Thank you. The purpose of uh lighting this up is so whenever I want to use this entryway again I won't have to worry about getting killed by something above me. Alright. Oh jeez! Freaking A <sighs> Get out of here. Ah, here we go again with the freaking creepers. All right. Ah, jeez, that freaked me out more than it should have. All right, well, I don't want to be wasting too many arrows or too many torches, so I'll leave it at this and. Jeez, oh, oh, what am I doing? Oh, jeez, oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, good. I can just do that. Alright, um... Light up a little bit of that area, too. Let's see, I think there was a creeper nearby. Nope, it didn't see me. Good. Alright, that should be sufficiently lit up. that creeper. Get rid of the zombie. Yeah, okay, blow up, I don't care. It's not like you can do much anyway. should be sufficiently lit up. So I will leave it at that. Get rid of this creeper. Alright, that should be good. I will finish lighting this part up. Hopefully I'm not close enough for that gas to start spawning. I couldn't think of a way to fit coal ore onto this map. But here's more tree than anyone could ever need. I trust you know about charcoal by now. Well, I would have liked a coal ore vein of some sort, but I guess the charcoal thing works too. I mean, eh, it takes a little longer, but eh, whatever works. Ah, get out. There we go. Low joking. How tedious would that be? <laughs> oh, you trickster, you. Thanks for that, though. That is greatly appreciated. I will steal all that coal in a minute. Hmm. Let me just light this up a little bit. I won't really need to go far to light this up. Alright, got that much left, might as well, what are you doing, what are you doing skeleton, trying to path find your way around that, looks like there's open sky over there, alright, um, hmm, 
I can take that now, or I can... Oh, well, actually, looks like there's no way I can get over to the castle from here. So I'll probably have to approach it from the ground. And this is the glade. Interesting. Oh, hello, skeleton. What you doing? Huh? Just chilling? Okay. You can do that. Oh, is that Enderman? Yep, it is. Okay, so this looks like a forested... Wow, huge trees. I like it. It's a pretty cool area. Looks like it's filled with mobs, though. I wouldn't doubt if there were spawners over there. One thing I could do is just ender pearl my way to that wool room over there. And then ender pearl out, but where would the fun be in that? I wonder if I can get some seeds out of here, too. That'd be nice. I don't mind having bread as a main food source. Silly Enderman taking the dirt. Alright, well, this place has been discovered. I will come back to it later. First, I want to... Hmm. See how much of this area I would need to light up. See, I've already lit up that area over there. So I guess hmm, a little under 50% left to light up. I'd have to come into here. Um, I might not even have to light this part up. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Well... I had to uh, take a break for a while because uh, I was raging pretty hard, and I don't really have an anger problem per se, but when I get pissed off, I just have to step back for a while. So, um, I had a lot of deaths. No! Nope. No. <laughs> Just trying to get my stuff back from that far corner. But, I was able to get most of it back. Um, lost my speed potion. Got most of my armor back, I think. Yeah, I got my armor back, but I lost some blocks. A lot of my arrows. A lot of my torches. Luckily, I got my enchanted items back. But, yeah. For the most part, I lost a good bit of things. Ah, oh, boy. But, at least I didn't take that coal with me when I had found it. Before getting pushed off the ledge by a skeleton. So, I was able to head, but head back up Malin and pick up some coal. So, to make up for my lost torches, I'm going to go ahead and pick up, or make some torches. Lots and lots of torches. Actually, I might as well just put them all in my hot bar. Why not? I don't have a lot of stuff to really put in there anymore, like potions and whatnot. Although, once I get a bucket, it's probably going to go, like, right here. Whenever I get iron. So, yeah, usually a bucket's my, one of my default items on the hot bar. Alright, well... Now that I've... What the? Hmm. Thought I heard something. Now that I've got... Or, now that I'm stocked up and ready for uh, anything, mostly, I'm gonna go ahead and go back up there and see what I can do about this tower. Now, the one thing I learned after all those deaths... I'm not even keeping track of my death count anymore, to be honest. One thing I learned after all those deaths is... Once you start being careless, and once you stop being cautious, that's when you die on these kind of maps. And I should have known it was going to happen, but I just really wasn't thinking at the time. So, but you know, at least I got some stuff back. And I'll learn to never stand on their ledge again. Because that's just stupid. Well, anyways. What to do about this tower? 
There's probably an entrance somewhere down there, but... I really don't feel like taking the front way in. Hmm. Gas spawner. I was thinking about using this ender pearl. It wouldn't be that hard, but once I get up there... There's gonna be mobs everywhere. So, instead, I'm gonna work on this place. I know there's a wool room at the back of this place, right? I think there is. Could have sworn. Yep, there it is. You see glass. That can only mean wool. Hmm. Ooh, I see a chest over there. I want to see. Or I want to get. Oh, jeez. Freaking skeleton. Oh, god. Huh. Did... Did he just kill that creeper? Usually when skeletons kill creepers, they, uh... Drop records. I mean, I guess... I know that wouldn't count in the... You know... Uh, what's it called? Hidden item count? Or, um the official record count, but that would be pretty cool, you know, to, uh, get a free record from a creeper like that. I'm just running around right now, just placing random torches. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. You can go die in a fiery pit of fire. Right. Placing random torches. Safety torch. Alright, well, that should be lit up enough for uh, this part of the place, or area. Thing with your. I'm trying to avoid these Endermen as best as I can. Actually, you know what? I might attack them in a second. Uh, after I take care of this creeper. Huh. I think it was close enough for him to blow up, but, uh, whatever. Sure. I don't mind that. Just gives me free dirt. Okay, um, is there another one over there? Hmm. Oh no. Oh, could have sworn I would have made that Enderman mad, but I guess not. Let's see if there's anything over here. Here's a spider. Oh, hello. Alright, let's get some ender pearls. Oh, hello! Alright, um, definitely need to heal up before I attack another enderman. I didn't get an ender pearl that time though. Cast like, ooh, seeds! Awesome! That means I can make some, uh, wheat. Finally. Oh, more seeds. Okay, um, I won't be going there for a while. Once I'm full health, I'm gonna attack another Enderman. Because the more Ender Pearls I have, the better chance I have of. Oh! Well. No, when do you know? Never mind. <laughs> Looks like I got, an, uh, I got enough Ender Pearls for now then. Huh. Dang. That's pretty nice. I wonder if that's why there's so many Endermen around here. Or maybe that's just unintentional. Or just a coincidence. That there's so many Endermens around the chest with Ender Pearls. Okay, well, that's the case. Hmm. I wonder if I can Ender Pearl my way over the. Oh, jeez. Creepers really love me. Where's that creeper at? I know you're under here. Did it die? Yeah, I guess it died. Okay, um... Uh, spider? Making sure to look around. Oh, a lag right there. Ooh, iron! Hell yeah! 
Got me some iron. So I would have saved that other iron earlier, I could have... Mm, two pieces of iron. Or... I could make flint and steel and burn this whole place down. <laughs> uh, as much as I'd love to, uh, I think I'll save that iron this time. Alright, um... Let's continue lighting up around here. I see a creeper behind me. Oh, hello. And there's random dirt blocks everywhere. Silly Endermen are just misplacing it. How does he not see me? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> the creeper's like, do 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 I'll just go off on my own. Oh, jeez. Okay, um... Alright, so far, so good. I'm making my way over to the wool, slowly. I think I'll stay away from the trees. There's probably something in there. Spawners, or traps. What's this? Huh. Sweaters are killed in two hits. Creepers are about three or four. And skeletons take, I think, just as much. Oh! I see a spawner over there. Ah, crap. I hate dealing with skeletons. Alright, that's dealt with. I don't know what kind of spawner that is over there. Doesn't look like he'll be coming towards me. Can I get away from that? I can usually time spawners pretty well. Oh, nope, nope. So if I run up to it... Awesome. Takes care of that spawner. Now I just gotta light a little more. Oh jeez. Blazes. That's just great. It's one thing I hate, it's blazes. Okay, um, back away, alright, oh, so, whoa, where'd the blaze go, hmm, wondering where the blaze spawner's at, oh, hey, I wonder if there's anything in here, alright, um, Go ahead and see what's in here. I see a chest. Timber fell. Gold. Axe of sharpness. Fi wow. Fire aspect. That's awesome. Efficiency 5. Yeah, this will definitely take down a tree pretty quickly. I don't know how long it'll last, though, with efficiency 5. That'll probably go out pretty quick. Wouldn't make a nice weapon, though. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Do you see that? I think it's fast. Hmm. I see that blaze over there. Wonder if I can take it out from here. Oh. Get away, skeleton. Alright. Hmm. Three shots? Oh, jeez! Wow! Don't die. Don't die. Okay, good. Yeah, they shoot me all the way from over there, wow.
Looks like he uh, lit this tree on fire. Awesome. Wonder if it's all gonna burn down now. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Gotta stay safe. Gotta stay safe. Actually, you know what? Alright, this way I should be safe from any kind of burning, but wow, this is uh, spreading pretty fast. Oh, man. Just think how it would be if uh, fire spread was still the same as in Alpha. That would be... Oh my god. Oh my god, it just keeps spreading. What is this? Oh god! I'm in a burning house! Okay, I'll stop with the voice. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty crazy. Um, I'm gonna go a little higher. Oh god. I gotta be careful not to touch the wall, the ceiling. And I don't think anybody can shoot me from here. If I do fall, I'll just stand on that chest, but, uh, <laughs> wow, um, this is pretty crazy. This whole, uh, thing is going down. I wonder I wish I could see this from the outside. This would probably look really cool. Oh, I'll just, uh, wait this out, I guess. It's gotta stop burning sooner or later. This is kind of cool to watch. And it is uh, lighting up the area pretty well. Hmm. Now at the moment I can't really leave. Unless I tunnel my... Well, I could just like block my way over there. I could. Uh, creating a bit of lag for me too. So many things on fire. I wonder if that's a blaze spawner over there. I think. No, it looks like a creeper spawner. Hmm. Well, um, shoot. Let's see how many arrows I have. I will take stock while this is all burning down. Definitely want to save the iron. Hmm. Let's see if I can get the creeper to burn. No, he's not interested. Anyways, uh, I got like one arrow left. I see some arrows down there, but I really, st I still can't leave with all this fire going on about around me. Uh, well, actually, I could. Hmm. Just gotta be really careful. What the? Anybody see that Enderman in a hole? Just watching me over there? <laughs> that is, uh, pretty creepy. I'll be honest. Okay. Just gotta do this carefully. Make sure no one shoots me. That would pretty, that would suck a lot. Alright, I'm gonna run off now. Man, oh wow, look at that. It's pretty getting the other tree. Oh, jeez. Jump attack failed. Okay, um... What do I want to do? Light up this area. And then I'm going to... Ooh, that is pretty. Ah, <laughs> uh, fire and destruction. Awesome. What I want to do is get into the wool room from behind. Hopefully it's not trapped back here. I doubt it. I should be safe. Oh, I see a brick. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh god. I hear the blaze. Awesome. You can't get me. Alright, well. I think I took out that blaze motor. Wait. Huh, it's funny. What do we got? Green wool. God, lag. Gotta run. Gotta run fast. Gotta go fast. Jeez. Crazy. Well, I got that chest over there, so I don't think there's anything else. There could be something in the trees. Oh, God. Get out of here. Oh, hey. That's cool. There's actually an uh, Enderman spawner. Huh. Well... Now that I know that's there... Oh! Hello! Don't mind me! Now that I know that's there, there's probably more around here. Hmm. I'm gonna have to, uh... Save that for later. Just think of all the enderpearl farming possibilities. That would be neat. I've seen some designs where, like... You set up a 3x, I don't know, 1x3 space? Yeah. And enough for an Enderman to spawn in. Except you have pistons at the top that when they extend, they pretty much crush the Enderman's head and kill them. So I could probably definitely build something like that. Now that I have the green wool, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in my safe house, and I will, well, actually, you know what, why the heck not, I'll bring it to Albin's machine now. And here we are at Albin's machine with the green wool. The fourth wool so far, powering the almighty target, I mean, Albin's machine. So let's go ahead and place this. Uh, where are you? Green wool. So that's four wool so far. Making pretty good progress, I gotta say. Still got four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve wools to go. Not to mention the material blocks, which I haven't found any iron yet. I'm hoping I do soon. Can't wait to have a bucket of water on me and hopefully a bucket of lava. Because if it's one thing I learned from ZS2, lava buckets are king. But, eh, maybe Thad wasn't smart and he didn't put any lava on this map. I mean, I can understand how people would probably use it as traps for the most part, but once you put lava somewhere and you know, if someone has a bucket, they're going to be using that for defense purposes a lot. Of course, you know, there's always a chance to burn yourself, but, eh, it happens. So, now that I've got this wool... Oh, what the... Uh, hmm, i got to light up that area. Now that I've got this wool, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Oh, jeez. End the episode here, and on the next episode, I will investigate the castle thing in Deadwood. So until then, take care.